everyone doing on this marvelous, marvelous Saturday? I hope all is well and everything is great and fine with you guys. If not, I'm sure things will get better. If this is your first time seeing my face on your screen, I hope you like me enough to stick around, smash the button, and hit the bell. By the time you see this video, it will be Monday. Hey, um, public service announcement, okay? Um, when I did that video on my skincare routine, I was using an app called InShot because, um, iMovie, for some reason, wouldn't re-download on my phone until I re-updated everything. I don't know what's that about, but the only thing I know how to use is iMovie to edit videos. So, I'm using iMovie again. So, yeah, but... To the old comments, what's up? To the new ones, hello? Yeah. Today's video, because I told y'all I was going to be switching up some things on my channel. I'm still going to do everything. I'm just adding to the channel. I'm not taking away or subtracting. So, but anyway, I know y'all like these John videos and everything. So, today is another John video about the time... When John made my mom lose three apartments. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, um, we, my mom friend John, stayed in the basement, as y'all know. For the old homies, y'all know this. John stayed in the basement of our apartment. He didn't have to pay rent. That's how he, um... Paid the landlord back, back by doing maintenance work around the building. Okay? So, yeah. Um, so, our building was getting pretty old. Matter of fact, it had got old. And it was so old that the back of the house was seeping away from... Um, the floor was seeping away from the house, which means you can see the basement part. If you stomp hard enough, you will fall through the basement. That's how, how bad the apartment was, okay? Now, mind you, in that apartment, we had been there since 1989, okay? Since 1989. Now, mind you, I was born in 84, so that's a long time from 89 to... um. 2002 of July. So, yeah. Um, so we moved east of Chicago. Still here in Chicago. But I'm from the Inglewood area. So anybody from Chicago, you know the Inglewood area. That's where I'm originally from. I'm not from over here. So, um... A man was fixing a house up literally three doors down from our apartment. It was a five-bedroom house. And the man was fixing it up every day. And my mom said, hey, hello, sir. Um, so I see that you're fixing up the house. I wanted to know what, how much you're charging for rent. Are you renting? Are you um, putting it up for sale, or et cetera? And he said, no, I'm renting it out. No, I'm renting it out. That was black and jumping down. But he was like, no, I'm renting the apartment out. When it's done, you can take a look at it, and I'll let you look at it inside. And you can see and decipher from there if you want the apartment or not. So my mom was like, okay, thank you, that's fine. He said, since you the first one said something, first come, first serve. So you get to be the first person to look at the apartment. So I already knew my mom was going to like the apartment because my friends that used to stay two doors down from me stayed in that exact same apartment. Um, They gutted it and added on to the house, I mean. They added on to the house. So, yeah, I already know how the house looked. It was pretty beautiful super big so um my mom was looking at the man fix the house 
she was like, it's turning out pretty nice. And he was like, thank you. So this is the part where John come in, okay? John kept on uh, saying, yeah, I know the woman that you're trying to rent to. That's my friend, and I've been knowing her for a long time. He said, okay, good. That's great. And then John kept going down there bugging bug him. Is the apartment ready? No, is the house ready? It's not ready yet. She wants to move. Now, mind you, my mom never told John to say anything to this man. John just kept on talking to the man. And my mom said, leave the man alone. He's trying to fix up the house. Leave him alone. He already knows that I want the place. You don't have to keep saying anything to him about me wanting the place. He already knows that I want the place. Leave the man alone. You coming off as harassing him. So John was like, no, I'm just so excited for you, and I want you to have the place. And y'all know John was a drunk, and he was on drugs real bad. So you know he had to be high when he was going over there messing with the man. So he, John was like, okay, okay, I'm not going to say nothing else. So, yeah, John kept on harassing the man. He went over there like four or five times. Is the house ready? She's ready to move in. And you know what the man said to John that made us lose the house? He said, tell your friend that she can no longer have the, uh, the house. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Find something else. All because of John kept harassing him. And I guess the man thought since John stayed in our basement, he was going to be staying in the apartment. I mean, in the house that we were trying to get. But no, John couldn't stay there anymore. So once we moved, my mom was like, nope, you can't stay there anymore. So once we move into the house, you can't stay in the basement anymore. I just want to live alone with me and my kids. So that's the first house that we couldn't get. So the second uh, um, house that we was trying to get was literally across the street. As you can see, my mom was still trying to stay in the neighborhood because we stayed on a good block. And the kids were very respectful. They did their little stuff, but they was very respectful to the elderly people. So... We didn't really lose this apartment, but my mom didn't want it anymore because she didn't want to be affiliated with John anymore because of what he did. And I'm about to tell y'all. So the man was fixing up the house across the street from us. And my mom said, you know, I see you fixing up the house. I was wondering, can I come look at it? And then he was like, yeah, sure. You can come look at it since you said something to me first. Again, first come, first serve. So I went over to the house and looked at it. I said, Mom, it's really nice. It's a little bit smaller than where we at now, but it's nice. So John was working for the man that was fixing up the house across the street. Come to find out the man was fixing up the house. Guess what John did? John stole the stove out of the house. He stole the refrigerator out of the house. He took up the carpet that was in the house. I cannot make this up at all. John stole all of that out of that house. And the man said to my mom, do you still want the, um, the um, place? And she said, no, it's too small. And I'm embarrassed. I don't want you to think that I'm affiliated with John like that. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I don't get down like that. John is just a crackhead and he drink too much. I am so sorry that that happened to you. Because I seen John going down the street with a dolly with the refrigerator on it. And I wasn't sure if that was the, the refrigerator out of the house. So he took the refrigerator, the stove, and the carpet up off the floor in the house that the man just put together. The man ended up crying really bad, y'all. I'm not, I'm not laughing because it's not funny. I probably would have cried too knowing that I put all that work into the house and somebody stole up out of my house that was supposed to be helping me. So he fired John. John couldn't work in that house anymore at all, whatsoever. So that's the other place that we didn't get, and that was by choice. The first one, John fucked that up. The third apartment we was trying to get, 
John messed that one up too. And the man said, I'm not going to even go into that. John messed that up too. The man said that we couldn't stay in that apartment because of John runs his mouth too much. And he thinks John is going to stay there. So that was three places that we were trying to get that John messed it up for us. So yeah, sad but true. John was just a fuck up, a drunk, and an asshole all in one. So this is y'all story time for John. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know every time I have an upload. Bye.